100. Listen, they're playing us before that. Whether they know it or not, they're playing <laughs> us. <laughs> <laughs> if we lose, we'll never bring it up. But if we win, we're yo. literally just going to be like, oh, you guys lost? That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, welcome, welcome to episode number seven, thank you, of the Optic Podcast. We got an all-star studded uh, host guests, guest hosts, host and guests. I mean, is that allowed to say? Can, can I hype myself up as an all-star? We got formal to my left, Mr. Up, yeah? Brandon Dashy Bruce, Here. Batman to my left, to my right, I got my man Scump Abner. Yeah, yeah. You son? <laughs> you son? What? No, don't give me that. And then we got my man Dill. The usuals. Talking to the mic. Heard your YouTube's doing well. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you killing me. Huh? Oh. Sorry, I just I, I had a furball. So you gotta finesse it. Anyway, uh, welcome to another podcast. This is the first podcast that we're doing with everybody here. It won't be like this every single time. Do not get too hyped up about it. Wait, um, why not? Yeah, yeah. Hey, let's talk about yeah. that shit. All right, guys, let's just start it. Okay, we were getting a little bit of topics here because last week we asked you guys to leave a topic in the description down below or in the comment section down below for us to talk about. And the and the first one is, will the GAs, will the pros be GAing everything? And look, I don't, like you guys, I'm not a first-hand player on this thing, so I don't know. I don't understand the difference between 60 MS on my ping and 50 MS on my ping, but obviously they can because they operate at a different level. But they just GA the AK-47, and I wanted to hear from the horse's mouths. Wait, which one of you used it? Uh, me. Brandon. Brandon used it. What do you feel about that, man? Like, <laughs> they, G, they, I think they GA'd it because you were too good, and they didn't have the gunny to be able to compete <laughs> against you. So they said, let's hinder the man. Let's let's put some sandbags on his back I, and see what happens. I don't think I it mean, was just Bruce. No, no, no. I mean, Hector makes oh. a very good point. Everything he said is absolutely true. But, I mean, <laughs> the AK-47, I mean... Uh, yeah, I mean, for me, it doesn't make sense because, I mean, just because it kills fast doesn't mean, like, I mean, I guess, like, I, I could see from, like, a subs POV because, like, up close, it's killing them really quick. So. Oh, it's killing me faster so every time. I mean, up close, the, the AK-47. It kills yeah. pretty quickly. Up close, like, it's beating the sub if it's pre-aimed 90% of the time. But did they find, like, a new, a new, uh... A new attachment to that to make that happen, or what made it like now be GA'd as opposed so, to so like the the amateurs in the EU and NA GA'd it once before, but then they like resulted back to like the pros GAs, but the pros never used it. Everyone thought the Krig was like meta, and the AK was meta. The AK was meta. Now <laughs> now everyone's using it, and it's like OP. Because I remember we we thought that the AK sucked because we played Phase one time, and they'd been playing for like weeks before. So we played phase one time. We were all using AKs, and they were all using Krigs, and we got absolutely body bagged. And we were like, "Fuck!" Like maybe we all gotta start using the Krig. Yeah, that was because so we didn't even like really right? try it. We got body bagged. Oh yeah, like yeah, the first time we played that. phase. Oh whoa, yeah, we did. We were all using. <laughs> you guys were all telling <laughs> oh, me the yeah, AK was the flex smoked. gun. We got like sixty points a map. We got smoked. <laughs> we <were just> <laughs> I, I totally wiped that from my brain. Bro. Yeah, that's, that's the right wrong. thing to do. And, in and my that was that was like when our team was like the Krigs the move, and then I think everyone else just like also thought the Krig was the move. Because of the headshot multiplier, yeah, on the yeah. Krig, and then they nerfed that, and then the AK became godlike because they never touched the AK. And then yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like to take credit for uh, the trend in the pro scene for using the AK. So yeah, good looks to have. He was rocking the far. Yeah, so trying to that. blind yeah. me. So My bad. I'll take credit for that. Yeah, that XM4 yeah. is nice now. So what is it? What is it about? Like what? Uh, one of the things that I did see, and I'm not calling anybody soon. out, right? But I did see yeah. somebody saying that this is better for the fan experience. I'm gonna tell you as a fan of as a viewer of, of, of esports, that shit don't matter to me. I wanna see the best of the best plus with the, with whatever it is. So I don't I don't want people to disguise this thing as like this is better for the fans. From an entertainment standpoint, this is no it's not. Okay, this is you guys and I'm not saying you guys, I'm just saying you guys as pros in general, saying this is better for us. This is what's more fun for us, right? And I get it, like GAs are gonna happen or whatever, but you can't disguise that behind the 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 sh the shroud of this is for the fans enjoyment and entertainment. Oh, it's a hundred percent selfish from the pros. No, yeah, here, here's the problem. Yeah. Bro. I'm just gonna be the one to say it. Problem is <clears throat> Lamar and Slasher are literally in the same apartment. <laughs> that's, 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 that's a bottom line, bro. Lamar, these, these fools are at a table just like this, yeah. rocking like they're like on their phones. They're like, yo. They're having a get podcast with shit. no mics or cameras. Yeah, he's like, yo, pass the salt. He's like, yeah, let's get rid of this. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, literally, that's literally what they're doing, like, all day. And that's the problem. you got two of the, like, head people that are getting stuff out. They're living together. You know what I mean? So it's like. Yeah, that's not I mean, it's, Yeah, that's a good point. That's a, that's a good point. It is. That's a recipe for disaster right there. Yeah. Just like, yo, I mean, the AK-47 like, shredding me, right? And then Lamar's like, same, bro. Yeah, and then they just like, let's GA it. 
On a real that note, works. though, there's always going to be a gun that's going to be like good. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'd rather have I'd rather have everyone use the same gun. To be yeah. honest. It's like have everyone use the same gun. Have you held warning to watch? But for me, like that way, no one can complain. You, know you two weren't here uh, in the last couple of podcasts to hear your opinion on this, but uh, we were talking about how it would be a good idea for uh, for Call of Duty to have like a the way they have Warzone for them to have CDL and and league play. But we were saying that instead of remaking maps, I'm, I'm sorry, instead of bringing in new maps that may not often hit the way that we need them to hit for it to be a competitive uh, map, to bring in to have a a players sort of uh, union, not union, or uh, a council to pick the, la the the best 12 maps from the last 12 years and then put them in there and then we rotate one of the new maps into this thing or the best map into this thing to be a part of that. That'd that, be godlike. That'd be sick. <clears throat> right, I mean, think about it. If you think about Counter-Strike, has always been using the same maps always and, and it's it's awesome, right? People Imagine are never going to get yeah. sick of Raid, never going to get sick of Standoff, never going to get sick of Solar. Like, they're just not going to get Solar. sick... Go <laughs> <laughs> some raid right stand off solar. Like solar. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's he's like this. Like raid stand off solar. Like you yeah, that is that kind of jetpack map, isn't it? I mean, I didn't mind that map, but that's like not like a raid. What's another what? good map? <laughs> what are your thoughts on that? I mean, that'd be, if that'd you be could bring one high rise. Like I mean, there's, there's high like, rise. There's hella maps terminal. like firing range, like shit like that. People yeah, firing like, good. People are just gonna like those maps no matter what. Yeah. The problem before was that it was five v five too. Now it's four v four, so like a lot of the maps work. Like yeah. in the yeah. past, like if it was five v five, you couldn't play like a raid or like a standoff, or it just wouldn't yeah, it play wouldn't as feel well. Right. Like if we played raid right now, five v five, it wouldn't feel like the same. It'd nah, it feel too. horrible. It's like a four v four map. So, so sure. much faster. And Which like, map would you bring back if you could? I'm like a MW two fanboy, so like scrapyard probably. Scrapyard MW2? Yeah. Scrap. Arcaden. Is that the... Oh, that's the... That's it's like the, the one. I like the, the MW2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Arcaden's good. Arcaden Seaside? No, not Seaside. What was the What was the map in MW3? As long as we're not playing Demolition, bro. Yeah. What was Played that map? Played that throwback. <laughs> Wait, that's Down the, that's by. Huh? That, that, that the two bomb, yeah. Down by the Seaside. I mean, anyway. I'm a fan of scary. So, you know, That'd be cool though. <laughs> so I'm talking on that. Uh, uh, Sledgehammer has... Well, there's a rumor out there that Sledgehammer is going to develop AW2 or... World War Three, right? Which one? I know that if, if please AW two, <laughs> AW two, why? Dude, the other option. The World War Three. You know, we don't know what World War Three. I is. mean, bro, yeah, but like AW two, you're Point. guaranteeing that we're flying around. What? It's literally called advanced warfare. You done fly? Yeah. You are? Yeah, I'm, man. I'm all about the AW two, bro. AW one was actually so fun. Was it really? Yeah, that shit yeah. was hella fun. You, uh, you know what? Now that I think about it, you were like having mad fun on Blackout when the Jets came in. And you oh, were, yeah, bro. Yeah. I was all over the map. You could just make people look stupid. Funny. Is it a Halo thing, you think? That nah, it brings you back like to a, those days? No, nah, I think it just makes a, it more fast paced. Yeah, it's just like you just more get to entertaining. the point. Like, you get to the point with the, the gun engagement? Yeah, let's just go fight each other. Like, that's fun to me. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah. Let's just square up. Rotation. That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> let's meet in the middle. <laughs> over and over and over. I mean, I'm down. If you had your choice between AW2 or World War Three, which we don't know what it could be, it could be like super futuristic. We could go back to space. I'd say AW2. What? If if a game is like World War Two again, it'll be miserable. I mean, I was like in the AM scene at that point, but yeah. still, <laughs> but like it was literally <laughs> spawning up, throwing your name like over and over. You should see Dill's montage. Oh yeah. <laughs> I got a World War II montage. Yeah. Like Half of it's keyboarded. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah. Is it on your YouTube? Oh, yeah. Because that shit's popping. It's, it's, it's gross though. clips. It's unlisted. It's just popping. Your YouTube popping. channel's popping. Popping. It's popping. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, so they had a good idea about their 100, uh, the Road to 100 and 0, which is like they'll get to 99 and 0 and then play U2 for the 100. Listen, they're playing us before that. Whether they know it or not, they're playing us <laughs> If we lose, we'll never bring it up. But if we win, we're yo. literally just gonna be like, "Oh, you guys lost. That sucks." Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, are, randomly, like, are, are you guys gonna use like random? Right, no, we're gonna. We already talked about it. Like, it's not gonna be brand new accounts. Like, I'm gonna talk to some dudes that have like a like a team. Like, they're like eight and four. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're like they're like believable. And then we're just gonna hop on their tag, just like mop them real quick, because they're gonna be like not expecting this to be good. Yeah. And then they're just gonna join the TS, be like, "Dude, we fucking lost. <laughs> <laughs> like, fucking that blows. Like, you guys ready to play? Like, I'd be tilted. Yeah, I'd be fucked up. <laughs> so you think it'd be better if you knew who they were? I'd yeah. rather you do that right now. We get yeah. to like fifty or something, yeah. and then you yeah. just come <laughs> in. And we yeah, that, wait yeah. until like eighty or something, like eighty, 80 90 and That'd be fucked up. There. No, I would. The I home think, stretch. I, yeah, I think. And we I think play that them that's, on that's, ringers. That's in a best of one. We're really trolling. They already get the jump. Like they win first rotation. 
Dude, we're down 60 0 already. <laughs> yeah. like, we're like, what the fuck? They're trying to regain, and we're just like, we're accusing we're him of we're cheating. We're shooting bodies. Like, yeah. 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 On another account, just lighting him up. <laughs> Throwing mollies at them. That's my favorite thing. Sending the evidence, now. and they're like, no, they're not cheating. And then, would you be surprised though, if somebody like smoked you guys? Or would you immediately oh, yeah. know? I'd submit it to like, It's somebody. It's a pro. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, do, do I, I'd be in theater trying to record proof. Would you? Yeah. I'd be tired. Dylan's getting that dub one way or another. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Absolutely. We'll throw it at the end of the event. Uh, yeah, we got the dub for this. I mean, <laughs> we haven't really played anyone like that nasty so far. No. Is not, ping not an issue when you guys play? But he gets best of one searches going rogue oh, sometimes. Yeah, he rogue. He'll just get a Clinky. best of one search. We went. Oh, well, actually, He's got no trust. Like, I played yeah. 2v2s for years. Yeah. I mean, well, with chances are we win, but in 1v1 or best of one S&D, you never know. All right, so no World War Two for you, or three. You would no. take AW2. So the difference would be obviously jetpacks versus not jetpacks, but it's still gonna be in the future because World War Three hasn't happened yet. So you know what I mean? Like you gotta remove World War Two out of your brain when thinking about World War Three. Yeah, you know what I mean? Dope. It could. Yeah, they could do know. something crazy. But you'd rather uh, go with the devil you'd know than the devil you don't know, and that's AW Two. Correct. Seth. Uh, AW Two. AW Two. Yes. Any reasons? Um, I do not want another World War game. Okay. As per Wait, did they ever have a the World last War year, they did they ever have one of those? World War yeah, One. World War One. Yeah, World at War. Remember? Oh, World at War. World at War. Was yeah. that one? Was that, was that shit? Yeah, that yeah, game yeah. was fire. That, that was game good. was good. The zombies was were fire. really good in that Sh game, dude. Unscoped Arasaka. World of yeah, War was, was the first actually really nasty. Was, was, was an underrated game. I love that game. You could actually curve bullets Play with, GBs with uh, bolt actions in that one. Wanted? Did you ever play that? World at War? Yeah, absolutely. No, you did. I swear to God, it was my first COD. What was what was your favorite sniper? It was it the PTRS? Oh wow! Oh yeah, that's the one that just no. That was the one that just takes off limbs, yeah, yeah. shoot him like in the, the leg, bear, right? and like, it just like, flies off. Like, <laughs> <it really> flies <laughs> Lim limb goes flying. Yeah, yeah, the purest limbos. Uh, oh no, no no! Wasn't there the Springfield? Yeah, he was. Yeah, it was. There's a Carnegie. 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 You know, a creator with a massive following brings to the table. And this has happened from yeah. the beginning, right? I remember even people like Jericho and Gold Glove and all these like old school uh, YouTubers that used to they used to say, Why the fuck would Activision with, you know, millions and millions of budget dollars a year pay you an influencer to promote the game that you're already gonna play? Which is what they're doing now to begin with, right? So uh Tucker, if you're watching this, you're fucking wrong, baby. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so it's the same thing that's happening right now. Like there is value to that, especially if you're up and coming. Like look at look at what happened to Logic with Face Clan, right? Look at what happened to Macklemore with Face Clan. Like they used them in the montages. Like millions of views count for something. You right. know what I mean? Like I know I know firsthand what it did for my friend Matt Lock when I used brand new Nikes on my montage. You know what I mean? He said he's like, dude, I've never had this much this much press. Like I pay people to do press for me, and I've never had this much success in in, in this thing. Like my sales are through the roof. You know what I mean? So I think that it, it is a matter of time before the DMCA thing. I mean, look, they they there's the music industry. They they're a little bit um, behind in the times. I would say, yeah, because you know they're still they're still trying to figure out you know how to live in this digital realm, right? Like they shot shot down Napster, right? Because of the, of the free music sharing, and then they went into like this sort of new thing with Tidal. They went into something with Spotify, uh, Pandora. I mean, you name it. Like all these people are now giving them like you know, residual income in vivo on YouTube. I don't know I don't know what the answer is, but I do think that there needs to be a a, a, a meet in the middle where if I upload a 10 second segment of my vlog that has music by someone, they should be able to monetize that. Or give me the opportunity to be like, hey, you wanna split this half and half? Like give me the opportunity, because I am creating something, it's not all centered around that music industry. You know what I mean? It's not yeah. centered around the music. Uh, but the reason, the, 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 what I want to talk to you guys about is right before that, my man Tyler got put on blast, sort of. Like he was trending because he, was, he wasn't talking shit. He was defending his passion for the game because he was taken serious and somebody else wasn't taking it serious. And I, I suffer from that because I'm not good enough at the game, but I'm still taking it very, very seriously at times when I'm not tired and I have eaten and I, like all these different components. But do you get like that when you guys play your GBs? Like, do you guys take it as serious as you would something else? 
Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Probably not all the time, <clears throat> not but like, all the time. like what pushes anyone? Like we don't want to lose. It just seems like you know, Ninja, or whatever. He doesn't want to lose, and that's why he's like getting mad over that, which I'm, is like reasonable. Yeah, dude. I, 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 what's what's with what's with the United States of America? What's with the world nowadays? It's like, oh, just have fun. Fuck. What happened to competition? What happened to beating, wanting to be the best, and having that? If I'm playing a league match and somebody there isn't trying as hard as I am, don't fa don't play league. Like this is supposed to be serious. You know what I mean? Yeah, people, don't come in here with your trolley ass. Yeah, people think it's like lame to be like a tryhard. Yeah. Like back in the day, like playing Halo Two, bro. Like if you weren't a tryhard, like you were just, you know what I'm saying? Like, no one would even fuck lobby, with you. Like yeah, like yeah. You, it was all about tryhard. Yeah. Nowadays it's different though. I don't I don't know what happened, but. Along the road somewhere, it was way cooler to be like, I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm going no hard. Like, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Brad? You take you take everything serious, or are you out there no scope? You know, I'm kind of uh, in between. I don't know. So uh, I'll let somebody else decide that. He's kind of like both, actually. Hold up. I mean, it all depends on the. You got to read the room, you know. Go ahead. Okay. I'm outpaced. Uh, what do you say? He's just gonna go blow his nose. Oh. You gotta, you gotta read the room. You know, if everyone else is going hard, you better be going fucking hard. If, yeah, if yeah. everyone else is trolling, then I guess it's acceptable. It's like it that's how eights, it's that's like, how eights are all the it's time. It's like contagious. Like whichever, which, if someone's gonna step up and start like going hard off the rip, you're gonna like. I mean, even oh, our shit, scrims, I, like, well, even our we'll scrims, sometimes like if one person starts trolling and we're just like, yeah, this isn't helping us, then we'll all just start trolling. Yeah, it's Seth usually. Yeah, it's probably. Usually. Is it really, dude? <laughs> yeah. Are you the you oldest on the team? No. I think I'm not the maturest. I am. How old are you? I'm the most mature. 26. 26? Yeah. You're 25? 25 and a half. <laughs> I'm the most mature if I want to be. I, I think if you want to be. If you want to say, so am I. And I could be the most immature yeah, that's usually. Also business, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, it's it's a nice switch to have. You know, it's, like, it's like, yeah, I'm serious, but I'm also fun. Like <laughs> I'm still hip. <laughs> yeah, I'm hip. No cap. I'm still hip. Oh, God. Get down. <laughs> we're just vibing. I'm with you the know times. I mean? like, what <laughs> Dude. <laughs> you should hear what this guy says about Troy. What? He's not just vibing. Me? What do you mean who? You. I mean, I don't, I don't think you're what? not Troy. That's he my tells boy. He's going to oil him up in a cage naked and make <laughs> him fight for his survival. Is that true? That's If I've been panda, that. If panda that day, that might go down that path. <laughs> 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 Troy can get oiled up for sure. <laughs> like, that's, not, that's not on me, though. Like, no, it's not him. That's his own fault. It's his move. So oil like, ball, his, boss in his oil court. Ball. You said so it. You put oil. it out there? Yeah, just... I said it to him, and he's like, oh, hell yeah. And I'm just like, hey, we're just vibing. Yeah, we're just vibing. <laughs> is that what it is? And also, and it's, the, it's like, kind of the panda <clears throat> taking taking the wheel. Yeah, panda can take the rain sometimes. Yeah. You eat panda on a bad day, it's <laughs> chalked. Have, you got, have any of you played Warzone since uh, it came out? Since yeah. The I new played it one time in the tournament. Did you even bother streaming that? Huh? Did you even bother streaming that? No, night? I didn't. Yeah, I, was, I looked at your stream that day and I didn't find it. I was actually piecing. I was I'm watching sure Blake stream. You were going hard. <laughs> huh? I said I was watching Blake stream. You were going hard. Yeah, I was actually dropping like 20, 20. Wait, why did you turn your stream on? I was just nervous. <laughs> no confidence. <laughs> I was like, I was like, if I get smoked, I'm not streaming this shit. Oh my god. I was, and I was he was afraid he was gonna get bounced out. Beforehand. I was like, don't even. <laughs> we we so we funny. we actually didn't do like bad. We got tenth. We needed to get top eight to advance. We got tenth. We got tenth. That's not bad. Yeah, we didn't do like that bad. There was there was nineteen teams, I think. Shit. So we were like middle of the pack. It's better than mm. I thought you'd do. Yeah, mm. I haven't played Warzone in freaking. It is middle, different. Middle, it, is, it, it is. There is a massive difference between. Oh it, yeah. Just yeah. The, the movement right now stuff. is crazy though. Yeah. The meta they're right doing now is they're like doing weapon so tuning right, right now. Yeah. If we hopped on Warzone right now with the meta, we would like be lost. Just because like talk Cold War. The DMR is just stupid. They're weapon tuning tomorrow. Pretty the, sure. The is Isn't it all Cold War guns though for like the meta? Yeah, they all they all insta kill. Anything, right? Like maybe. Maybe it's just like different. Like there's the way, dual like, the dual Diamantes. I mean everything. Wait, when is, is that happening today? The the know. update tomorrow. Tomorrow. It's Thursday, happening tomorrow. The well, seventh. The, 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 that's not the only thing that's going on. I just found out through this note pad and the research that we did right before this that there is a companion app for Warzone, which allows you to run this parallel to launching your game. And before you even launch the game, it gives you a list of all 100 and whatever players that are in there and tells you everything about them. Have, have you heard about Their it? Their favorite food. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen videos. Food, and it's food. nuts. People just go in and you can look like the average KD of the lobby. And if it's like too high, you just leave yeah, and go to a better yeah. lobby if you're trying to drop like world record kills or whatever. <clears throat> which and is again, lame. And again, that's why I said last week that Warzone isn't a competitive game. Well, yeah, I think I think so much I think it can on. be. There's so it much, isn't right now, but so it can be. Fugues. There's like reverse boosters. Uh, me and Seth have talked about this. There is a lot of. Thing is like the most crazy thing to me. 
Because I heard that companion app got nerfed or like they changed it. But that's something they so nerfed small the app. to what like yeah, they made half, the apps, like, half of these. Actually, no, I don't even want to get into it. No, go it. ahead, get into it. But half of these content creators, some of them are sketchy they gotta be as fuck, bro. I've talked about this. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Some of them are. <laughs> Like, <laughs> there are some things they do this guy, this guy, that, dude. like, if you go in depth at it and you actually break it down, like, you'll be like, damn, like, these One, guys are, the year, like, he's gotta be cheating. Yeah, like, 100%. People like, look at different monitors. Yeah, like, people, like, literally radar clutch, on, like, clutch situation, you're not even looking at your monitor. You're playing it perfectly, all form, have Deddy with for ghosts, what? but yeah. you're magically making There's the clips. right play every single time. You never get shot in the back sure. in RNG BR, like... Something's not you right guys there. You about that shit though, with like people messing with the routers and getting like yeah, yeah, the net like, yeah, yeah, we talked about saying. that last week. Like that, that shit's like crazy. Geolocation, like what we seals. Like, you can't even like prove someone's doing that, and that just chalks up any like competitive integrity for me at least. I'm like, yeah. how am I supposed to know <laughs> if the guy I'm playing against in tournament is doing that or not? You don't. Yeah. Right. So how do like, I know they're not reverse boosting? And, yeah, and then it's like everyone's mindset too nowadays is if he's doing it, I'm gonna do it. Yeah. yeah. And then so now it's like now you got everyone doing it. It's yeah. probably just infested. You know what I mean? Yeah. So then it's like oh, I've seen like people that I know that are like very credible, like upstanding, you know, good competitive players. They're like, yeah, I'm fucking getting one. Like, yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> but you can't. Yeah. At that point, you can't help it, right? Because you have you you have these natural you know gifted people who are actually good at the game. That would love to compete on an evil on, on a level playing field, evil. but here on an evil playing field, <laughs> <laughs> evil playing field. <laughs> on an on a evil level playing field, and then you have these little jackass cheating losers yeah. that I don't understand. Like it's the internet; you can't get away with shit on the internet. You know what I mean? Like it, you will get caught. It's only a matter of time of you getting caught, and then your career is like for real, super over, and that's you, what it well, is. Well, you can tell yeah. too, like who would do like sketchy shit and who wouldn't. Like you can just tell. Name huh? No, 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 I wouldn't. No, name no I'm not gonna name it, but like you can tell, like who's. Just tell me after the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's compare notes. I got, I got clips, bro. But you can tell, for the most part, not yeah. always, but. Yo, me, me, Hitch, and Embos have a have a thread. I'm like, yo, you see this shit? And then, and then Bose is like, yeah, he cheating. Like, he hasn't even opened it. He's like, yeah, he cheating. <laughs> it's just hard, hard to hard to understand. But this companion app, like, I I think that that this sort of application, like, is is helpful, but not in in situations like in, in competitive situations where it is. Yeah. I think that maybe a companion app to give you more information about your own stuff, like that, is useful. Uh, other people share like obviously like that 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 affects the, the competitive uh, scene. But from a analytical standpoint, the more you know, the more data you have, like the better in my opinion. So I don't know. Uh, the next topic that we're moving on to is the one that kind of kind of got me a little bit hot and bothered. And by that I mean excited. By that I was like, oh shit, Call of Duty makes 2.5 billion in 2020. Billion. Wait, somebody said the 1.5 in last month. Who said that? No, it was seven hundred in the last two months for Cold War. Seven hundred million? million, million, million. Okay, billion. damn. <laughs> seven hundred billion. Cold War pop. <laughs> the that's f- fuck competitive. Uh, <laughs> that's crazy. So we'll buy, that we'll is, buy all that's this. That's a shit ton of money, though. It's a lot of money with no anti cheat. Say it again. <laughs> <laughs> what? What'd you say? It's a lot of money with no anti cheat. Yeah, hey, that, uh, that's, that is that is the that is. Well, we don't know where it's going. Obviously, like it's a massive, massive corporation that yeah. you know, with people that get paid what they're supposed to be getting paid, the man, you know, according to the market demands. Uh, but there should be some of that allocated to two things, in my opinion, right? Anti cheat, like right away, because I'm going to tell you exactly what's going to happen, in my opinion, just as a as a as a, as a spectator. What's going to happen is that we're going to get into the competitive, uh, in, into the competitive season of Call of Duty, and something. Without an anti cheat, we're not gonna know who's who. And unless Activision is prepared to send over a a referee, two referees, to every single location where players are gonna be uh, playing out of, and forces every single comp- continues to not force, but make it mandatory for players to compete out of the same thing, someone's gonna be like, I don't believe this shit. You know what I mean? I'm not. Let's go back to PlayStation, right? And then we're gonna have to flip the entire thing back to PlayStation. Because PlayStation is the only time where you can, you know, actually feel comfortable enough to be like, yeah, there's nothing right. shady going on in here. You know what I mean? Yeah. And this league is founded on the competition, right? On the integrity of the competition. And if we can't have that sort of uh, clarity or confidence in the fact that everything is being played the way that it should, something's got to give. Yeah. We, just, we just can't have that in Call of Duty. We've worked on this for 12, 14 years. Well... Then you also have scan and repair. <laughs> scan and repair. 
Oh, salary cap. <laughs> Who else last night? Last night I was like, yo, Hector, I want to fucking raise. He's like, we're at the salary cap. I started singing salary cap. <laughs> the whole night he's just singing all through. He's, but he's, no, bro, he was singing that all through the night. But no, seriously, though, scan and repair, like, if, if that's still a thing, he gets it all the time. Whoa, 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 not me recently. It's been, what do you it's mean? Been you chalked up checkmates. Well, no, we get it. it we don't least. get it in game though, ever. Yeah, you guys been. Well, he's been getting we, fucking after every single game. After games, yeah. Yeah, we get it in I, like I'm the the, the all, stat though. screen. Okay, that's good then. But, but like, what if what if people are getting scan repair during tournaments? Yeah, what happens there? I, dude, I don't know. They better they better fucking fix that shit. I mean, when we blue screened, like that was a whole mess. Like on PS4, because yeah, sometimes you get the win, though. sometimes remember, you remember get the loss. Blue screen in London. Wait, did I? Yeah. Wait, when? Well, it wasn't blue screen. It was oh, like yeah, and I started those. raging. Yes. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I said, you know, Seth Regan, I'm just here under his breath, but all the fucking money. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even get fucking legitimate rules. <laughs> Everybody's fucking concentrating on the, on the round, and this guy's like, we're like, in for everybody. Like, come on, man. No, we were out of game. Yeah, it was after it had ended. Who was it against? Club. Paris? Paris, yeah. And I fucking dropped 12 on him last match? I just hear Seth. Fucking, fucking Paris, fucking flout to London. I'm all shit going wrong. <laughs> Dude, my freaking my my, P, my PS4 like shut off mid game. Didn't it do it mid game? Yeah, it was it was someone signed in on like the, his controller or like it like it like pulled up the controller. It started hackney, right? Yeah. And then I went like double neck. And so it was like ref <laughs> ref. And then he went back into the game and I was like, you gotta play it. And then you hear Seth, what? <laughs> and, like, right. and then after the game, he was like, hey, make me fucking play. Wait, that what, shit. what was wrong? Wait, what happened? What was wrong with your thing? Like, what uh, my, I think my controller had like input delay or something because someone else logged in and I got yeah. back on and I had input delay after that. Seth was compromised or something like that, and I was full Getting compromised. Had. He was compromised. I was yeah. I mean, I was I was losing my mind, and then last map comes up and. <laughs> 12. Should never happen to yeah, me. Yeah, then he dropped <laughs> fucking Baker. Should never happen to me. 12 and 3. <laughs> Should never happen to you. No. How was your last year? It was miserable. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about last miserable, year. Miserable, devastating. What are you talking about? <laughs> Oh, dude, there are so many stories I could say that probably shouldn't be public. Yeah, well, don't tell them then. I'm just going to let you guys <laughs> yeah, just put it out there. Yeah, I'm not going to say it. If I ever get, like, five, ten years from now, if I ever just say, fuck it, you know, like, I might, like, you know. This shit was hilarious. Say it on a random YouTube video in 2027, you know, like, yo, like, my OJLA team is. Whoa, 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 all right, let's leave it there. Let's leave it there. <laughs> it's 2021, It's 2021, man. We leave that in the, in the past, man. We leave that's that in the past. That's 2027. Uh, you're, you've been in Dallas for close to 20 hours. How's yeah. it feel? Do you fine. feel like a brand so new man? It's fine. You want to just weirdly go buy a cowboy hat and spurs? Yeehaw. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Troy, where's that now? Oh, he we, wears we a had lot a, of shit. Trust. We had a, uh, a, a small, <laughs> we had a very small and safe uh, get together for Christmas, and he came wearing boots. I'm like, no, you know you're not. So, we got tested yesterday. Got, yeah. How How it, it wasn't, it that, wasn't bad. that bad at all. Yeah. What, what did they do to you? They, they did the nose, nose ones. The nose, like all the way yeah. back? Yeah. Yeah. You know what they made? It just burns for like three seconds in each nose, and then you're done. Did they do it, or did they make my eyes are watery? <laughs> no, they did. Nervous. It was when I when I went to go film my thing at uh in, in L.A. Like, with Van, it's okay. I was like, <laughs> with the nurse. Yeah, she was like, "All right, here we go," and I was like, and she was like, "It's okay, it's okay, almost done." But I went Ooh, like, uh, I went cross-eyed and shit because I was she like, was moving it, your it, eyeball. I was literally <laughs> touching the back of my eye. She was like this, is this? With the, he was, she was moving his eyes with the Q-tip, <laughs> like a puppet. <laughs> like, oh, let me make this. And she's like, oh shit. But yeah, it wasn't as it wasn't it wasn't as bad as people make it to be. People like make it out to be like some evil fucking torture device, Iron Man. It is <laughs> jigsaw. Wait, that's what it I is. thought going into it. She's like, we're gonna put a swab up in your nose. I was like, what? I was like, <laughs> and then she was like, it's not that bad. I was like, this is devastating right here. Yeah, I'm getting that shit today. Yeah, Matt's about to get it today. Yeah. Are you going? Well, we'll talk about this after. Okay, that's fine. Um, what I was going to say, though, is like, I've had, yeah, what? Just fucking finish it out. I was going to say, if, is he going to the same studio that we went to? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. yeah. What, where was the, that, what was that secret? What? I don't know. Why. It wasn't a secret. <laughs> I just didn't guys. think that it was <laughs> palpable, snackable info for oh, the podcast. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, people love to hear it. So when I had my three tests, I've had all of them done. I have, I've had the, the, the mouth. Palpable. The mouth uh, test, the nose where they put it all the way in the back of your thing. And then the lady, the last one, made me do it. So she's like, all right, grab as much uh, liquid what? as you can out of the back of your nose. And I'm like, there's no liquid in there. Oh, yeah. And then she's like, what? She's, and she's like, no, there is. So I'm like, all right, fine. So I go, and she's like, all right, now use the same thing and do it on the other side. I'm like, 
you want me to put my boogers back inside myself oh. on the other side? I'm like, is that sanitary? Okay. And I'm like, well, it is mine, right? It's like they're That's like so neighbors. Nasty. I know. I would not want to do it myself. Yeah, no. no oh, I, I did. No. I was like this. And I'm like, oh, oh, like, oh my god! And I'm like, I made it disappear like one of those magic tricks. <laughs> <She's> like, ah! <laughs> I'm like, psych, psych! It's a magic trick. It's a magic trick. Here's some flowers. Squirt. <laughs> so I did it on the other side. It was that, but it was one of those things where it's just like I don't mind it now. Like now, I just get them tested. Just as easy. Yeah, you're a boss. <laughs> That's a weird flex, Seth. Like weird, a boss. Weird flex. Um, what about you, man? Are you looking forward to to living here in Texas? Shout out to Mama <clears throat> Mama Dashi though, Diane. If you're watching, thank you so much for the baklava. Wait, where's smoke. That baklava, bro? I'm trying wait to, you uh, got baklava? You ate it all. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, where is it? That, that's more important things so right here. Because I was to that. Yeah, wait, she gave I was, right I was gassing up to mess yeah. like two big ass plates. There's you no way it's all gone. You, you want some? You, <laughs> <it all>? you, <laughs> you want to tell, tell us how the baklava got here? I was trying to try it. There's some bullshit. No more baklava because it starts fights. Got you, yeah, bro. Sure. It was delicious. The pistachio ones. Yeah, those. Stop are looking at me like I'm supposed to know. I was going to oh, try it. Pistachio oh, ones. Were so did you? You didn't have any? They were I here. tried one, but no, Brandon didn't, I didn't know what was in it, here. so I didn't know what I was. No, no, no I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. Like, okay, the, there's one that's filled with pistachios, but the, I don't know what the other one was. The, the, was like, the other was two, like the sweet one. So the other two are better. The cubes are good. The rolls are the best, and the then the pistachio are ones are like more snackable. Yeah, they're like more like you feel healthier eating them. It's like no, nah. no, you don't. Feel healthier <laughs> Not at all. Sound like so you good. went through a mission to get them here, though. I want to try it. He did. He, you could have just shipped them. This dude, like, bro, he's like, he's like, bro, I've been carrying this for eight hours. He gives it to me. I'm like, oh my, oh my god, bro, just walking across it was three different airports, just literally, bro. He had plates. That's your carry on, bro. My mom's, my mom's asked me to do that before too. She's like, oh my gosh, like, I'm like, when I went to Mexico, she's like, bring back some tortillas. I'm like, I'm not bringing back no tortillas, mom. Just go to the store. Like that's just like something that I just don't do anyway looking forward to it or what i mean yeah i mean for the most part like obviously like i love living back home but like when you just get joked over and over <laughs> online it does something to a man it does it, it, it switches does. up your mindset and then because i've been playing on like 70 75 ping like pretty much every scrim because every host for the most part is is in texas and then just for like that specific reason like that's enough for me to move bro like and you were on 100 plus last year in cali oh i'll be going goodness. through this 100 plus ping every time we're getting smoked in every screen. What are we doing wrong? I mean, I don't know. 100 ping. I mean, it could start there. No, we're not rotating. <laughs> like, I don't know. Do they not have fiber in, or does that not matter? They don't. They, they, they actually don't have where I live. It was only. They cable. didn't have where There's we live. There's so too. many people that live in Cali. How are they going to give fiber to everybody? I mean, like, everyone's outside. There was like a certain beach, spot right? that you can get fiber, but it was like 10 minutes away from where I live. Yeah, it's the Google. Oh, my God. 10 minutes away? Fuck. I mean, you can just then, like, get another house over there. Oh, yeah, that like, is true. No, but fiber <laughs> doesn't really do anything in, like, Cali because you're just so far from everyone. Yeah, it wouldn't, it wouldn't help that much. Like, even if you have fiber, I have fiber where I live. Still 75 ping in Texas. Like, like what does fiber yeah. even do? Who? I don't know. Just more, st more stable. It, uh, it, fiber difference? allows for your digestive tract to allow for a most smooth transition from oh, processing the food. Anyway. No, you really stuck uh, with it. Thank you, thank you. Um, I was going to, fuck, I lost my train of thought. Why did you ask me about fiber? <laughs> So you just you moved here. You've been here for a year almost. Yeah, a year this month. Was this the first time of you living on your own? I mean, obviously you live with for, your girlfriend, but living on your own. Yeah, first time. How and was it? I love it. I'd rather be alone. What? The well, yeah, not, what the hell? She watched. This that's show? depressing. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Not like that, but like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always wanted to like live my own, and it was cool. I got to when I was like nineteen, twenty. So. Yeah, I was twenty-four <laughs> when I moved out for the first time ever. My mom cried and shit. Your mom cry? Yeah, a bunch of times. Yeah, yeah I was. I'm like the, the oldest too. So. Oh my yeah, god. First yeah, first one to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about your mom cry? <laughs> oh, my mom is. She's probably watching this right now. Honestly, she's very extra with like all this. Is she's like. Like, I'll be leaving, like, to events for four days, and then she'll be like, oh, my God, text me when you land, do everything. I'm like, yo, calm down. Like, yeah. I'll be good, right? Like, you can watch me, like, yeah. play and stuff. But, I mean, like, obviously, like, both my parents. I mean, my dad doesn't really show it as much, but my yeah. mom That's is exactly like. exactly how my parents are, too. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they, but, bro, I'm going to tell you something. I'm 40 years old, but I'm going to be 41 in two months. It don't stop. I'm 40. I'm a grown man. Yeah. I'm a like. They don't see you as that, though. No, bro. My mom's like, it's text me when you get there. I'm like, I'm, I'm going to go fishing. It's like, where? Mexico. Ah! <laughs> I'm like, oh shit! Watch out. Anyway, I I had a, a pleasure having a conversation with you boys. Is there anything that you guys want to talk about? I mean, we haven't had any any true scrims, right? Anything Trims. from here? Uh, but I'm looking forward to what it looks like. I, I think we're nasty. I mean, we're nasty already. But now that we have uh, now we're not getting joked. Horny for for me up in this, it'll be good. Yeah. Oh, God, my chat's already ruined for the fucking day. 
Now that you said that, H four F. I didn't. I didn't make that shit up. Dog. Who made it up? I think Kevy Skills did. No joke. H four F. I'm pretty they sure. I'm pretty it. sure it was Kevy Skills. Blame it on him. You hear right me, when Kevy? they start, they are done. Chat's over. Oh, they riot. Yeah. They mosh. Yes, they do. They literally moach in a mosh pit. Like, you, you don't want to see him. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, see moach coming I'm towards you in a mosh pit. You turn that's around. That's exactly how they are. <laughs> they just mosh in the middle? All right, Mine. cool. Well, thank you for joining us for this episode of the Optic uh, Podcast. If you guys have any topics that you guys would like us to discuss at the top of the hour next week, please leave them in the description down below, and we will start it off with that. Until next time, we'll see you guys later. Our, everybody's Thanks. information will be in the description down below. Be sure to follow everyone. Let's get some growth in the chat. We'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Peace.